Welcome to WebOrb 101, Code Generation. WebOrb has three parts. First, the WebOrb runtime implements the infrastructure of remoting, data management, and messaging. Second, WebOrb's toolset, including its IDE plugins, command line utilities, and management console, makes WebOrb easy to use. And third, WebOrb's generated code gives developers a simple interface to this infrastructure. In this video, we'll explore the management console's code generation. In WebOrb's Service Browser's Code Generation tab, I've selected Car Rental Service, which is used in WebOrb's sample code. We can generate code to access Car Rental Service's methods from any client technology, including Flex, Ajax, or Silverlight, and many Flex-based frameworks such as CairnGorm, PureMVC, Mate, and Swizz. In this case, we'll generate Flex code. Scroll down. Also, you can generate a complete project file to make test driving the service even easier. And press the Download Code button. The generated code comes in a standard zip file. We'll just extract all and copy the generated code to our project. The remote service and its data types are now known to the client. WebOrb's remote service invocation pattern couldn't be easier. One simply invokes the remote service, in this case Rent-A-Car, and the flow of control continues. When the remote service returns asynchronously, WebOrb updates the service's model with its results. The view's components bound to the model through data binding are updated automatically. The code generated by WebOrb, combined with the WebOrb runtime, is what makes this super easy invocation pattern possible. That simple invocation pattern is ideal for pure Flex clients, and WebOrb supports the invocation patterns of whatever framework you choose. For example, for the pure MVC framework, WebOrb generates command classes, such as Rent-A-Car command and Startup command, and mediator classes, such as Car Rental Service Mediator. Whatever framework you choose, WebOrb generates the code you need. Furthermore, each of WebOrb's code generation targets is defined by a standard XSLT, that is, an extensible stylesheet language transformation document, so you can modify or extend WebOrb's code generation to meet your project's unique needs. Here's some code generated by WebOrb. Any developer who has written internet applications before has written boilerplate code like this over and over and over. Writing code like this, you might as well be a machine. So let a machine do it. Using WebOrb's code generator frees developers to write unique application logic, getting their product to market faster and at lower cost. Indeed, in even this trivial sample service, Using WebOrb's code generation would have saved more than $900. In real-world applications, the savings would have been much higher. Using WebOrb, developers can focus less on infrastructure and more on unique application logic. This can decrease your internet application's risk and time to market and increase your return on investment. Thank you for your interest in WebOrb. Next, download a free version of WebOrb and start saving time and money today. Happy coding!